Hey everybody, I'm back with another Eldol unboxing. Yes, I'm completely obsessed. Uh, this one is um, another Mermaid Princess. We've unboxed them before. We've been, oh, unboxed one before. She was the um, uh, the purple-haired one. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with her. Um, this one I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be just as much in love with. So we got our box open up here. It looks like this girl's going to have maybe a pink colored hair. Yep, she's going to be pink colored. Um, they do come in the basic brown boxes in case you guys missed my last one. Now it seems that I think maybe they come, all the mermaids come with the same clothing? No, 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 no. They have the same base type um, fabric. So they're going to have this, um, oh, let's see here. Let's talk about it after here get her out. Um, they all come with a business card, which is cool. Uh, the L, the, the LDolls.com and then it tells you, and then it shows you, um, all the different ones we can get. Um, I do have a few coming in. I haven't gotten any of the toddler dolls. Um, I should take a, a closer look at those and see if those are worth checking out on our channel. Um, all right, so here she is out of her box. Let's see if I can get this to focus properly here. All right, so she has these beautiful light brown, almost hazel eyes that are um, that are glass inset. She has rooted eyebrow, um, rooted eyelashes, and a pink eyeshadow. You guys can see that. Her eyelashes are not really super long, but they're long enough. Let's see if I can show you guys that. I don't know if they're rooted or if they're glued on, but either way, they're I think they're rooted, so they're pretty cool. And then she has a pearlescent pink lipstick. Her bottom lashes are painted on. She has like a bubblegum pink hair, and the cool thing about these mermaids so far that I've been see noticing is their hair is super, 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 super long. So that's going all the way down to her tail, guys. Uh, she wears a two-piece. She's got, um, like a, uh, tank top type bikini. Tank top bikini? A tankini? I don't know. But, um, it's like a metallic-y, rainbow-colored. So you see, um, and they all have, like, the scale prints on there. And then she has, a uh, pink lace around her mid midriff. And then she's got the pink tail that's got sparkles in it. Our, our purple one that we opened up had a similar outfit, but um, it was different types of um, metallic that was mixed into the scaling, the scaling print, and then that one had a purple fin and purple trim around there. So they were quite similar. Um, I'm assuming from the same collection. Um, the molding on these dolls is a little bit indie. Um, I appreciate it though. I appreciate. Uh, they have really, really beautiful faces, in my opinion, and the, and the face sculpts are beautiful. Uh, their articulation is very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very advanced. Uh, you have the shoulder joint that goes up and down and out. You have the, um, wrist joint, that, the elbow joint that swivels and then goes back and forth. You have the oh, elbow joint. And then wrist joint, and um, you have a little bit of swiveling going on with the with the waist. Uh, what I mean by that is it's a two piece. It seems like so you can get a little bit of movement, but not much, not much movement in the in the waist. It's kind of just the way it's molded. Um, but uh, her legs, you can move her legs up like this. Whoops, and then you can move it down like this. You can have her swim. Um. And that's their extent of movement right there. So not quite as much movement as the re regular dolls, but the mermaids have their their share of articulation. I did show you uh, without the skirt on with our purple one. So if you want to check check that video, out, you can show I, it'll show you the feet and stuff. They're the same. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this girl other than she's absolutely gorgeous and worth worth the weight and the money. I mean, I am, I am like, huh, I am obsessed with inset eyes, and the fact that she's got inset eyes and 
rooted eyebrows and this long luscious hair. I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. She's she's so pretty. Um, I and I don't I don't have a lot of mermaid dolls in my collection. I can seriously say that um, I have an Ariel and have an old Ariel. I have a Cabbage Patch Kid dressed up as a mermaid. Uh, it was like a mermaid clothes pack. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, other than, you know, if you want to go, like, animal mermaid type things. Uh, yeah, um, but I, but she was, uh, she caught my eye. And she's perfect. She's gorgeous. I hope, I wish this company well, and I, I'm, I'm so glad and honored. I mean, I obviously weren't set the product. I bought the product fair and square. But I want to give them an awesome review because I don't have any complaints at all with their products. They are beautiful, and I hope to see more in the future. <laughs> um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.